with what's oh happening. yeah this is a celebrate this is a celebratory episode for sure <laughs> yeah so i mean so now that we're past ryan i mean i guess we just want to say thank you to ryan thank you to Wish ryan the best but one last, there's a little elephant in the room that a lot of people are angry about. Um, is Vanderpool not getting the uh, interim head coaching position? And for me, at least, I think that's silly. I think it's silly as a Timberwolves fan that you would want that. And I know that he's probably a great guy. He's probably a great coach. But I just that that would just be just a pause in the process that would just be it would just wouldn't make any sense if you can go get your guy right now you go do that you don't you're not going to wait this year um with Vanderpool as the interim when you know you're not going to hire him on a long-term deal yeah I think for anyone that just doesn't make any sense so what my my opinion on that is obviously you know they they've had Chris Finch in, in the works for a while, and obviously that's guy Gerson wants. He wants to change Minnesota's culture into that Houston Rockets type culture of making the playoffs every year and trying to win a chip. Um, so if you keep Vanderpool as you know as head coach, is that just keeping the same? That's keeping the same energy I think that we have at the moment in the locker room still there. I think if you bring in a new face and a new personality, that's when that's when culture shifts, and I think. I think it's good because Vanderpool right now, as is, I would, I would label him an associate head coach for the reason of he runs the defense and, you know, Chris Finch is going to run the offense. So I, I look at those two, obviously Chris Finch is going to have the final say, but they're, they, they, they can coexist and both be head coaches in their own realm. So it's not like Vanderpool is losing anything. Honestly, at the moment, he's probably getting a lot of responsibility of, you know, relaying the Fitch, like what's been happening, giving yep. him info, yep. team info, players. Um, he's going to have a huge job still in this organization. You know, I hope we keep him on the coaching staff then in the next few years too. Cause I really like him. Our defense guys has been surprisingly good for some reason this year out of, <laughs> out of everything we thought this defense was going to be. It's been, it's been, it's been brighter than the offense, but it's and still bottom found- third of the league. Yeah. And you know, that, that can be fixed though. It's that can, I think that can be fixed. And we found a couple of really good defensive players in Vandy and, you know, McDaniels is the best defensive rookie at the moment and one of the best wing defenders in the league. So we have the talent. It's just, we need the culture shift. We need the new faces in. we need, we need to, we owe it to Gerson to give him what he needs and what he wants. We owe him an opportunity and this is his opportunity. For sure. And yeah, just like the interim, like that's what happened with Ryan. He was the interim head coach, but he and then they just him extended up. him. So would another interim head coach just, I don't know. It just, I get people like people want to see Vanderpool be the head coach, but it just doesn't make any sense when in the off season, anyway, we were going to go get a new guy. Yeah. And his, his, like I said, I think, I think his his job title actually is associate head coach right yes. now. He, he guys, he's he's a int, in like he's an integral part of this coaching staff. He is he runs the defense. That is huge. So he's he's going to have a big role going forward. He's always going to have a big role. That's not not going to be taken away with him at all. But getting to Chris Finch